What's up guys, my name's Hugh Miller and I, just, I, I need to just ask this question. This, is, this video is more directed at Her Interactive, but a bit of an informational video for uh, for you guys as well. Um, so you'll notice I've got a lot of tabs open. We'll get to all those tabs in just a little bit here. Um, last night, uh, a, uh, a viewer of mine, follower, whatever you want to call her, um, I, I, I hope I'm not going to butcher, butcher your name. I'm really sorry if I do. Uh, I'm going to say it's Swesty or Swestie, uh, S-W-E-S-T-I-E-E -E -E or something, um, messaged me on Instagram and just said, uh, yeah, just did, did, did a bit of sleuthing, and it looks like her interactive has left their offices. And I was like, oh, I am interested. Um, for those guys that, uh, I'm going to do a bit of a history lesson here and then we'll get into the actual video. So way back in the day, as in 2002, I believe, Her Interactive moved into uh, an office in Bellevue, uh, which is where they stayed until 2016. Uh, I don't know exactly when in 2016 that they left, but it was, again, after Midnight in Salem when they had the layoffs, so they didn't need this big office space. Um, and uh, it's an office space that clearly people know of. Uh, I'm showing videos and pictures here of what it looks like, but it's um, it was the most well-known office space. They they made uh, tons of games in this in this building, um, almost all their games actually. And then in 2016, they moved to a new office building, and that is where they did all the live streams and they released Midnight in Salem and all that stuff. And then apparently, they moved out uh, of that building and. Or maybe not moved out yet, but apparently that build or their particular suite, office suite, is now up for lease again. Um, and so we're just going to do a bit of a dive. So the main the main idea that I'm trying to get across here is what is going on, or the main question I have is what is going on at Her Interactive, because um, I I'm genuinely fascinated. So here we are on the Her Interactive homepage, and this is like the first point that I want to come to, is that they obviously updated their website uh, a little while ago. And it's very, it's very different from what it used to be. And I'm not going to lie, I'm still not a huge fan of it by any means. Uh, it's, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not a fan of, of this current site. I, I like the old one more than this one. And I didn't even really like the old one. I like, I preferred the one before that one, actually. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's, so they, they had the time and money to upgrade their website, which is, I, I find very interesting. Because again, doing this kind of overhaul on a website, um, is not very light it's not very it's not cheap um because they got to pay their employees or someone to do their entire like redo the entire website which is huge uh and on top of that they didn't even make a formal announcement about it they, like little jackalope just said in a uh a, a amateur sleuth blog post i think it was like this one or something um oh maybe not she said in one of them that uh uh, yeah, we just we updated the website. Have you noticed or what do you think of it? And I'm like you didn't actually make an announcement an Announcement about it like that was huge way back in the day where they changed the website like they would make a big announcement about it um, They hardly acknowledged it which is crazy, but they obviously have had the money to do that. So I don't know anyways <clears throat> I, I I also want to talk about the employee situation at her interactive so someone did a comment on uh, on one of their her news posts, I think it was this one actually. Oh, whoops. Um, oh, maybe not. It was another one where they they just said how much of the how many of the employees at her interactive are, or what's the percentage of like male to female employees? And uh, I just commented on the post. I just said it, and this is my understanding. I, I could be totally wrong. My understanding is that there are no male employees at her interactive uh, at this moment. Which again, I'm, I couldn't care less whether there's male, all male, all, male, all female uh, employees. All I know is that whatever they're doing for, is working. I mean, they're making money somehow. And I don't know if part of that is uh, due to just the marketing stuff that they're doing because they've changed their marketing style. Uh, if we go back to 2019, you'll notice they had a very specific style of doing things, like a little gradient or some little background detail, uh, a very specific font, uh, color choices for everything and they and the logo uh, placement and everything everything was very had a, had a formula to it it was very simple and it's what it was and it, to me is I still prefer this style over the new style it was very her interactive and they now have this new style of these like fancy 
graphics and whatnot, and they use a lot of stuff that isn't actually Nancy Drew related. Uh, they've used different fonts and whatnot, and they're bigger too. All the old ones are like all 500 by 500. Uh, a lot of the new ones are, is it 1000? Or 1080 by 1080. Like they're much larger uh, graphics. And you've got a different font and everything. Uh, the screenshot back there is from Midnight in Salem, but, and again, it must be working. It must be working, but I am not, I'm still not a fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of this new style of, of graphic. Um, I, I just had to point this one out really quickly because they used all these squares that overlap because of the opacity, it makes these weird little edges. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, they, yeah, things have changed, and somehow something is working, because they must be making money. They had the money to redo their website, so that's, yeah, like, that's, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say, but something must be working, and they're very active on social media, um, so I don't know what's going on, but what I really want to talk about is their offices. So, yeah, this person, uh, Swiss D, Swiss Tide, I, again, I'm sorry if I'm just butchering your name, uh, messaged me and said, yeah, I noticed they moved out or they have their office up for lease. And I was like, oh, go on. So the office that uh, they were in, like, uh, apparently were in, like, most recently um, is the one, the address, 325 118th Avenue, Southeast, uh, Suite 209, Bellevue, Washington, 98005, which is located right about here. Um, but recently I noticed that they actually changed their address on their privacy policy to, um, P.O. Box 1092 Renton, Washington 98057, uh, which is actually much further south, which is down here. Uh, so if we look at these two, like they, that's a big change. And turns out when you actually look this up, it's a just, it's just simply like a post box is what their address is now. Um, and most likely this is simply due to the work from home situation. Like why do they need an office if they can just do it from home? They're just, they're just marketing. If they were an actual like game development team still, it makes sense for them to keep the offices. But as of right now, her interactive is a post box rather than, than an office co a company with an office. Um, and yeah, so she actually sent me, this person sent me this link to the listing. This is the building that they're in and yeah, apparently it's it's up for lease. Suite 209, which is exactly where they were, at the same avenue or same uh, address, uh, which is so interesting. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I I don't know what's going on. Clearly, they've made the decision they don't actually need the uh, need the office space anymore, but they're still in business, and they somehow have money. Um, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't even know what to say. I'm just so interested in the fact that they moved out, or se seem to have moved out, most likely just put everything in storage, um, and then, yeah, change their change their address to simply just a post box now, and then have someone, uh, probably their uh, office administrator, go and pick up the post whenever they need it, um, and they haven't changed this web or this address here, um, and they redid their website, and they have the new marketing director I, I just I'm just baffled they, they still haven't told us anything about a new game I, I don't really I don't know what to say except her interactive what's going on what is go what's happening I just I honestly I'm just kind of at a loss of words for what to say I don't I just don't know I, I just don't know what to say about any of this um but yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day.